Good morning. Good. Actually, good afternoon. Sorry, I'm on Filipino time. I thought it was still morning. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Woo. Oh boy, so I'm still working on this kitchen. It's a disaster. Um, uh, between the ants and then, I mean, the, no one's used any of my stuff. I mean, it's not my stuff, it's, I mean, it's the family stuff, but you know, like no one's used any of like really the dishes, you know, so everything is just dusty and dirty. Um, we have two sets of silverware, you know, the, like the nice silverware that we use ourselves and for the guests. And then we have like this bulk cheap, you know, tin, tinny silverware that we use if we have like our birthday party or a big party, you know. And so all of that stuff was all mixed in together and it, you know me, it's like, ah, la, la, la. <laughs> drives me nuts. So I've been spending the past two days just working on separating silverware. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I, I have, I just been trying to organize and straighten out uh, the mess that's in here. Um, but it's almost done. So right now I'm running um, all of the uh, dishes uh, through the dishwasher. So, um, and uh, the plumber just came. So I, I can't run the dishwasher yet. But he just came and emptied out the, uh, the storage tank, drained it, and then uh, washed it, sanitized it. Um, he said it was dirty, a lot of sand, a lot of silt. And that, that, that's been clogging up the shower head. So he's been back here twice already this past two weeks just to unclog the uh, shower heads. Um, so what we're doing is I sat down with him on the computer and um, we found a good system. Uh, we're gonna do a, a, a three stage water filtration system for each building. Uh, so there'll be, you know, uh, a three-stage uh, system in front of the uh, main line that runs into each one of the buildings. So there'll be no more sediment getting inside the building. Um, the only problem with that, what I'm worried about, is um, uh, the sediment is still going to back up somewhere because we're not stopping it before it gets into the lines. Uh, for some reason, we can't find the right system for the main, for the main, I don't know. So I'm just going by what the plumber said. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, yeah, so Lynn's over in the, in the villa, the, the bedroom, um, you know, cleaning up, getting ready to come out for the, for the afternoon. Uh, might, might go down to the beach, go do some swimming. I'm not sure. It's Sunday, so it's a little crowded. I, I don't know if I really want to go down there. Um, the LGU said the dog, the nurse said I can go down to the beach, but I can't, I can't be around other people. So I don't know. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous if you ask me. I've been tested every which way from Sunday, but um, I want to follow the rules so that there's no, no questions, no doubting. And um, anyways, as of Wednesday, I'm free. I'm a free, free man, 100%. Uh, so I'll be heading down to Tag Balaran on Wednesday. But anyways, um, so what, what, um, I, and this is, so I, I got, I got an email uh, from Jim and he said that, you know, can I do an update about Sammy? Um, is he going to come back to work? Am I going to see him? And what's, what's the deal? Um, and it's funny that he sent me that email because Lynn and I have been talking about that. And, um, <clears throat> It's really, it's really a hard subject to talk about. It really is. And um, it comes to Sam, you know, I um, I have a soft spot for Sam, you know, but he has a lot of issues. And uh, when when we let him go, um, the past couple months ago, he had a hard time about it, and you know, and he was lashing out and you know, getting drunk and talking to the neighbors and to the people that, you know, spreading some rumors and lies about, about Lynn or he's gonna, you know, he has keys to the house, he's gonna break in or, and it's just, you know, you know, Sammy, I know he would never do anything like that. You don't know, you guys don't know him the way I know him. And, uh, <clears throat> but he's, he's just upset and he's hurt, but there's nothing I can do, you know, I can't, so, let me back up a little bit. It's, like I said, it's, it's a touch, it's a hard subject to handle. It's a hard subject to, to grasp, you know, because there's so many moving parts. Um, about a month before I even left, he, he started going downhill, right? So everyone's commenting that, oh, you know, you know, he totally took advantage of you as soon as you left. No, he didn't. 
Um, he, he was already going down that slippery slope before I even left. And it's hard. It, it's hard. You know, you have an addiction. Alcoholism, you know, is, it's an addiction. And he, he has it really bad. And he, he was doing so, so good for so long, you know. Um, but when he gets free time, if there's a fiesta, if there's someone's birthday, that's it. <laughs> he has one sip of that bottle, he can't stop. He cannot stop. Uh, but but if, if he's cranking out the work here, but he's so busy, he's exhausted, he don't feel like drinking, and, and he does well. And uh, during the peak time when he was doing, when he was on top, you know, we were only giving him half his salary, and the other half we were holding it as a savings account for him. And he had almost enough money where we were going to go put it in a bank for him. He would have had his first bank account in his entire life. He was, he was this close, this close, you know. And he just blew it, you know, he just blew it, you know. He went off the deep end, drinking, not coming to work, and that was it. We had enough. We gave him all his money, told him to go away. What can you do? And it, and it really, it really didn't have anything to do with Lynn being alone. Uh, he was already going downhill before I left. Um, and so when it, when it comes to Sam, am I mad at him? No. Uh, do I hate him? No, of course not. I don't. Um, I, I I really wanted him to. I wanted to raise him up. I wanted him to to be a better person. Um, I wanted him to achieve some type of success, you know. I, I wanted um, him to have some respect in the neighborhood. I wanted people to respect him because I know what's inside of him. I know, I know what's there. It's just have to peel back the layers, guys. I, I know what's inside of that guy. He's an awesome guy and he's the hardest working man, Filipino human being I've ever, I've ever met in my life. And his work is good. He does a great job. Um, so I really tried to I tried to peel that onion, and it just didn't work out. Um, and that's the end. I'm not going back to it. And um, so, do I hate him? No. Am I mad? No. Uh, it's the relationship I have with Sam is more like a father son type of relationship. And so, when you if you're a father and one of your childs, um, you know, does wrong goes off the deep end, you don't, you know, you, you, you have a, a, a sense of sadness, um, a sense of um, disappointment. You know, the, the, if you were to ask me what's the first thought that comes into my mind when I think of Sammy, it's, it's sadness. I feel sad. I feel disappointed. Those, those two things. Um, so to answer the question, is, is Sammy going to come back to work now that I'm here? And the answer is uh, no. <clears throat> No, guys. He can't. So I was telling Lynn, you know, if he goes to rehab and gets clean and, and, we, and he does a drug test like every week, whatever, blah, 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 blah and uh, he can come back to work. But it's, it's, even, it's even beyond that. It's, and he'll never do that. He'll never. He doesn't, he doesn't want to change. And I, I'm not, I can't tell him what to do. I can't tell him to change. He's a grown man. He did want to change. He did want to help himself, and you know, for a while there, he just gave up. You know, he gave he gave in to his temptations. Um, maybe I'm partly to blame for that too, because you know, on, on Saturdays after work, I'd sit here and you know have some beers and tandoi with the guys. Um, and then I, maybe I created a um, a bad environment. I don't know. But me, personally, I haven't had any, any alcohol, not a drop, since I left here in March. I did have a couple of beers on the 4th of July at my sister's, but other than that, I haven't had a single, single drop of any hard liquor, beer, or anything. So my, my new thing is I'm just trying to get healthy. I'm not, so not, that includes not drinking. Um, I'm trying to stick to more vegetables. Um, I haven't had any pork. I'm not eating any pork. So I'm just, I'm just doing the chicken, fish, and vegetable diet, seafood. Um, trying to get some more walking in. And um, yeah, I mean, we had some pizza last night, so that didn't help. <laughs> but for three weeks, I've been on, a, on this like crash course diet. 
while I've been on lockdown. In uh, Blue Star, favorite place to get pizza. It's open on Wednesdays and Saturdays now. You can get pizza from 10 in the morning to, uh, I think, 8 o'clock at night. But it's not the same pizza. I don't even know if they're using the pizza oven, the brick, the brick oven. The, the, it's, it's, they went, it's like, it's back to this uh, little thin piece of doughy cardboard pizza that you can get down in the town. So we got it last night, it was a little disappointing. Um, it's not the same pizza that you have on Wednesday nights where it's a nice thick, you know, fluffy crust and a nice thick dough. It wasn't like that. So Blue Star, I don't know what you guys are doing <clears throat> with your pizza, but it's not good. It wasn't good. Um, so I hope I addressed the Sammy issue. We put it to rest once and for all, guys. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, we did our best with Sam. Um, I haven't seen him, but uh, I believe he is working somewhere because Lynn saw him coming out of the hardware store down the road with carrying some supplies. <clears throat> so he must have must have picked up a, a side job somewhere. And I hope he does good. I hope he doesn't smoke too much because his asthma is going to bother him. I don't know how many times I've, 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 you know, brought him back from the brink of death just by buying him his asthma medicine because he spends all his money on drinks and he can't afford his medicine. I mean, one time I went to his house because they said he was sick with the asthma and he was in the hammock and he was like yellow, pale, um, I mean, I thought I was looking at a, inside of a coffin, you know. And I went down to town, I bought his medicine, and it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's, a, it's at least, a, for one dose, it's at least like a thousand pesos. <clears throat> and that's like, you know, half a, half a week's salary. Um, so I got it, and the next day he was as good as new. So I, I do worry about him. Um, and I'm probably going to have to go visit him, you know, when I when things get up and running, and have a uh, a serious heart to heart conversation with him. But he can't he can't come back here. That 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 ship has sailed. Um, we got to get the boat going. I also got to um. We gotta think about what we're doing for Thea's birthday. But that's it. So uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. That's what we got. The kitchen's still a disaster. Um, hopefully, we'll have it up and running in another day or so and back to normal. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and um, leave a comment below. Bye.